Welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with me, Matthew Caddies, Iggy Poogie. So, this is uh, Flying Battery Zone, a level that would later return in Sonic Mania as well. Oh boy, the musical difference uh, noticeable if you play Sonic Mania first. Seriously, it feels weird hearing the original 16 bit composition um, after going through the thing, especially since. Um, even though some of the instruments are used, the in the background, um, it might be too much of James Bond. Um, is that anyway? Yeah, think of this as um, a slightly more, uh, slightly less challenging version of Wing Fortress. Because with this one, at least we can uh, jump easily, and the mechanics are so bad. And what do you know? We actually get to look at the Gumball uh, bonus stage. Basically, um, you twist the thing at the top of the Gumball machine, you get either a power-up, a bounce, or a 1-up, or some more rings. So yeah, you can actually easily farm 1-ups. Um, it doesn't last as long as uh, either the Glowing Spheres or the Slot Machine, but it is pretty good. And it is the only bonus stage in Sonic 3. Uh, separately, that is. Sonic 3 Knuckles, you get all three. So, yeah. I think you get it if you get exactly 50 rings. Which I think was the case in uh, Sonic 3 as well. Anyway, that being said, uh, Flying Battery. Um, there are these uh, traps which, honestly, if you're playing this one as Knuckles, uh, you can't jump that high, so it's a bit harder. With Sonic, not so much. So yeah, and the fire shield is your best friend here because there are loads of fire traps. Seriously, as well as the flame spin dash, which is more of a jump dash to be honest than the spin dash, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I also have to remind myself that I don't have Super Sonic here, so yeah. But this stage is actually quite fun, as well as an awesome soundtrack of course. Although, uh, t lobes would do better, uh, but never mind that for now. Um, let's go in here and maybe get some more um, rings. I don't know. I don't need another continue. I've got plenty of continues in my pocket, so I won't worry there. Uh, so instead, I will just go for the goals. Seriously. Yeah, I'd rather a special stage at this point, not a bonus stage. So yeah, uh, pressing this switch will make us go down. In fact, I think it's the only way to go down. So yeah, I'll get through. Also, more through the bad things with the spin dash. Seriously. Yeah, the first act is built for speed. Seriously, it's certainly built for speed. More so than Wing Fortress, which was more platforming and was also kind of a the last level in Sonic 2. Compared to this being the second level in Sonic and Knuckles and the, I don't know, the eighth level in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Also, um, if I did jump to the left there, I would have been able to go up to find another special stage, but never mind. Never mind. Um, yeah, because uh, you can actually get two very easy special stages by using the, um, by going up and pushing a, uh, some spikes, seriously, and um, of note, keep in mind whenever I do decide to do Mania, because I'm, I probably will do Sonic Mania, given that I love, how much I love that game, um, and given that I might as well be now Sonic 4, given that Sonic 4, well, has not aged well, shall we say, it's certainly not the first episode, maybe the second one was good, um, aside from the ending, but uh, yeah. Anyway, if we push these spikes to the right, we can go down here and get another bonus ring. So yes, so, or super ring should I say, which will take us to the special stage. So which one am I going to do then? Well, let's see. Um, I'll land here, and we've already done that one, I'm doing this one here. So this one, um, I don't know if it's as hard or not. But, um, yeah. So, this one has us going in circles, seriously. This one is quite tough, not too tough compared to the last one I did, which was very, very hard, but 
Yeah, I'm doing all the hard ones first, as I say. I think my brain would uh, get very angry otherwise. So, yeah. So, this is basically... Reminds me way too much of Pac-Man. Maybe then a bit of that snake game they used to have on those mobile phones. Um, those Nokia phones, seriously. Um, but, yeah. You, all you have to do is worrying about jumping at the right time. So, yeah. Uh, less of the pushback from the last one I did, but... It might be there. Although, I think I've messed up towards the end there. So, let's try that again at full speed. Jump over there and do a moonwalk. Yes, I'm guessing I'm not over the Michael Jackson references in this Let's Play. So, uh, indeed, we've got the Super Emerald. Uh, well, the next Super Emerald, should I say. So, yeah. And how many do we have left? I don't know. Also, I apologize for the um, filter, not filter, but the problems with the shininess of the uh, emeralds. Because they just don't shine very well in the... It is recording. They do show up much better on my TV, but not so much here. Anyway, that being said, let's go over here because we need to make our way upwards to the mini boss. Of course, so. Indeed, um, this mini boss is very interesting and um, was something to be replicated, I guess, in. Um, uh, mania, but uh, never mind that for now. But yeah, this next mini boss is interesting because it is one of the bosses in Sonic 3 and Knuckles which you don't damage in the normal way as you would with uh, some of the other bosses. You see, it looks like a capsule. Nope, you thought it was a capsule, but it's actually a robot. Basically, what you have to do to damage this uh, robot is to actually make it hit itself with its maces. Seriously. Nothing too hard at all. Um, although as a kid, I did... I, I did uh, think it was a weird way to uh, do it, but... Yeah, it is an interesting boss. Seriously. It isn't actually that hard either. Seriously. I thought as a kid it was. But never mind that. Um, let's go on to Act 2, shall we? So Act 2 is a little bit harder, because we will have to deal with some crushers, so to speak. Not in the same way as say, Metallic Madness or um, Wacky Workbench, but um, uh, something similar, uh, as we will see. Uh, because when we get down here, um, also, I um, But these things, these cylindrical... Uh, things they can push you up down, but also they can push you up because there are ones going up as well. So yeah, and the one uh, thing above you, yeah, it can kill you. So do you want to do that? No, oh, indeed. Um, another thing about the electric shield in Sonic Mania, it, it lets you actually cling to the roof of those electric towers. Something that is not a thing here in. Um, uh, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, of course. I'm guessing Sega didn't think of using the technology there. I don't know if the, well, the Mega Drive could do that. I think there were some similar games there. But uh, they didn't do it with their prize blue hedgehog. And what do you know? There's some uh, things up there. Do I want to go back? I don't know, but um, yeah. I think I messed up. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. I think I purposely died here, uh, but let's see. Okay, maybe I didn't. So spin dash, and yeah, I'm not gonna say it like that goofy way. Okay, and this um, fire trap apparently lets us open the thing. Okay, I may well have done so. I purposely died there because um, I didn't mean to do that. So instead, apparently that uh, that um, if you die, that uh, trap is in. Well, it's not a trap, per se, but uh, certainly something that would be a pain in the ass normally. So, indeed, Speed Dash! I did it there! Stop clinging to the roof, Sonic, you're not Spider-Man! Um, seriously. You do not have webs coming out of you. 
uh, legs and everything. Besides that, there is already a sort of spider hog in the way of spider ham. Although I'm, um, I cannot unsee the Spider-Verse version of him. Anyway, that being said, let's head to the... Nothing wrong with that, I love Spider-Verse. Anyway, um, that being said, do I want to go to... I, I don't know. I think it's actually down here is where the thing is. Now, I want to go through this crumbling floor here, and then um, head to the right as I would do. So, yeah. Uh, so, shall I save my game? Yes, because I don't want to fuck things up with this one. So, indeed, resume game, and down we go. So, indeed, here we go through there. Uh, there is this cylindrical tower going upwards. And if I head to the left here, it will take us to another um, giant ring. So, yeah. So, let's see. There's one over here that I haven't done. And this one has us going in all sorts of directions. I'm not sure if it's similar to a stage in uh, Sonic uh, 3. Uh, I think it might be, but in this one, yeah, we have to go in all sorts of directions because it's kind of like a maze. So, yeah. So, let's go around. And, yeah. If I was going for all the uh, rings, uh, well, initially I did think of doing that, but no, I didn't in the end because, to be honest, I have plenty of lives. Seriously. Screw it. Um, I'm not that sort of gamer. But yes, yeah, some of the blue spheres are rather sparse in this stage. Seriously, so... Eh, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, but... You can get the rings at least. But, I don't know. I am not always a fan of this one. Seriously. Given it is a maze. In places, at least. And in some cases, you can easily jump over each of the uh, blue spheres that are um, singular, shall we say. That aren't very sparse in those areas. So, yeah. Although, in this area, it's kind of hard to do so because reasons. The most um, uh, annoying reason being that. Um, Sonic goes very fast, of course. Anyway, that being said, I didn't have to use any save states for this one. Which is good, because, yeah, that one was actually quite tough. So, yes, we've got another Super Emerald. That leaves two more to go. So, yeah. And no, I am not going to do show off all the special stages in the Knuckles playthrough, no. No, um, I'm definitely not going to do that. So, uh, indeed, with that done, let's continue. And, uh, indeed, um, go to the right. And, let's see. Yeah, this one is quite hard. If you don't time it right with the spin dash. Um, yeah, you can. Okay, apparently uh, hiding in the corner also helps. So, um, getting through there without a spin dash, I don't think I could do that. Seriously, the impending doom coming down upon your head, not a great thing for me, uh, but never mind that, um, ouch. Then I will head to the right, and no I don't want to die, although those mines are going to kill me. Seriously, I was just trying to get a ring, that's all. Um. I do want to go to the right here, seriously. And spin dash. Yeah, that's your friend here. Yeah, I don't like wasting time in the in stages, if you know what I mean. So down we go and head to the right and run. Yeah, definitely run because I say so. And um, I don't have a clue here. Well, no, I do have a clue. And, um, well, do I get another special stage? I think I do, actually. I think I do get another special stage. But it's tough. It's pretty tough. So, indeed, uh, yeah. Watch out for those burners. Seriously, if you grab the wrong one, you may well and end up hurting yourself. Uh, no, I don't want the bonus stage. As I say, that one's the, um... 
Whew. Well, never mind. I thought there might be another giant ring there. There is one over here once you get up the top of that jump, but you have to do it at like the very top of your jump. Seriously. So here, I have the choice of two here. I'm going to go to the left and see what that one does. Seriously. And, um, indeed, let's see what this one does. <sighs> Sorry. I don't like repetitive commentary. But no, this one's not too bad. This one's one of the earlier ones. Uh, the only annoyance is um, if you're not going for a, for, um, a continue or a perfect, then you may want to go the other way around, if you know what I mean. Because um, you can do this one of two ways. Uh, the way I'm doing this is honestly not too bad. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you can go the other way as well with this one. Uh, this is also another maze-like one, if you want my honest opinion. Less maze-like than the last one, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to reload here because I didn't spend too much time at that start of that one. So yeah, and um, of course, the um, other thing, I want to get the blue spheres. Now, this one isn't too bad either. So yeah, this is the other way you can do it. Which is a little easier, but you don't get the um, perfect, but I'm not interested in warm-ups, I have over 20. Seriously, so yeah. And let's head to the right and mess up royally. And screw the cuckoo, I, I have brains here. I don't know why I'm still going to the ring, seriously, but there you go. Um, round and round. Okay, so... Yeah, there are actually less um, things there, but never mind that. And I'm stuck. And then, do I want to jump over here? Okay, I did the little trick there with the uh, thing. Okay, fine. But I'm still missing something. No, don't push me back. Push me forwards. Okay, we're back. So, um, yeah, four to go. There we go. I don't know what went wrong with that one, but there you go. So, that is the penultimate Super Emerald. So, I will be getting the last one in Salandopolis zone, the next zone, which has quite a few giant rings. I think the last zone you can actually get any giant rings in Sonic and Knuckles is actually um, Lava Reef. If you're going for either Supersonic or um, uh, Hypersonic, so yeah. But, um, let's jump up here and... Ah, no! I don't want to get crushed! Seriously, these things can instantly crush you to death. Literally, in the game. Uh, but if we go up here, we get an interesting... Um, I don't call, call this a boss, really. But a nice little callback to... Um, again... Um, <sighs> Um, Wing Fortress with the giant laser and everything. The difference is we don't have the platforms to reach it, so Eggman pretty much has us cornered here! Um, except, of course, um, um, this is only, uh, as I say, the, um, the um, second stage of Sonic and Knuckles, so the game will be over fairly quickly, and we'd actually see um, Eggman triumph over Sonic, but no. That is not the case. As soon as they get too close, apparently he malfunctions and Eggman runs away. So now we have to chase him down through here. And um, yeah, I probably want to spin dash. Although, yeah. By the way, uh, the only annoyance with this bit is with the fact that, um, uh, that uh, Sonic, uh, it, you could get crushed. If you're not fast enough, but it moves at such a pace that uh, it's not likely that you'll get crushed. Anyway, the real boss is up here once this uh, platform moves to the top. Apparently. Yes, apparently um, Eggman always has a plan B. Yes, so let's see. It's a giant um, Eggmobile with a flamethrower. Again, you can avoid the flamethrower fairly easily. It just starts... I don't know if I can call it sparking up or not, but yeah. Be wary of the two platforms between him, however. 
But yeah, they can kill you. So, indeed, yeah. Use the shield is your friend once again here. Seriously. I don't find this boss too hard either. Just be careful where you jump, of course. Um, but, um, and of course, I think I got a lucky hit in there. I think I used the Insta Shield. Not easy to tell, but yeah. Also, I think Eggman is a bit off model there. Seriously, his moustache is pointing downwards when he's not being hit. Seriously. But, that being said, um, we've gone through uh, Flying Battery. So in the next episode, we will head to Sandopolis Zone. And that is an interesting stage. And I do not like the second act in that one. Anyway, I'll see you then.